to my channel for me here welcome your old head and welcome back as you read by that title y'all we just gonna get into my makeup routine right here your girl is giving tea serving all of the tea serving everything okay let me stop playing y'all we're gonna jump right into my team my updated makeup routine period Hey girl, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to your old hey girl, welcome back. As you read by that title, y'all, I am coming to y'all with my updated makeup routine. I haven't did a makeup routine since 2023, 2022. So we are here with it. This is my everyday makeup routine and I always get so many compliments. So it's like, mm, why not? You know, and everything that I use is pretty much affordable. Like I have yet to go and buy anything high end. Jumping straight into my makeup routine, I always start off with a clean, nice shade face. I always do my plan using an eyebrow razor and this here skin therapy oil. I just put this skin therapy oil on my face. It is a face cleansing oil. So not only am I shaving off the hairs, but I'm also cleaning my face. After I shave my face and get all the hairs off my face, I wash my face with the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser for normal skin okay after i wash my face of course we got to moisturize i feel like moisturizing is the key to my whole entire makeup routine my face not moisturized and it's just dry i feel like my makeup isn't gonna give so i go in with the neutrogena hydro boost water gel it just come in this little container just like that and all i need is literally a dollar that's it I always spray my face with witch hazel facial toner. I don't know. I feel like if you do your skincare routine right before you do your makeup, it's just eat down. And then I also go in with the Black Girl Sunscreen. This is just what it looks like. It is actually the kid sunscreen. It kind of do like bring like moisture back into my face. All that, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face on camera and show y'all what it's gonna give once I'm done. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, my edges is not gonna last tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. All I need is like that much. That's it. Y'all see? That's all I need. I did kind of like nick a few spots on my face. It is burning, but I'm good. I'm a G. Y'all, I really gotta hurry up because I already wasted an hour of my time. This is the toner. I make sure that I let my skin prep dry down really, really well. Going in with my sunscreen. I usually do two fingers, but I'm only doing a fingertip simply because I'm not going out into the sun, y'all. So there's no point of me even doing two fingertips. Okay, so there go my skin prep. Skin is nice and glowy, nice and smooth just to pump my lips a little bit after my skin prep i usually like i let it dry a little bit and then for my primer i go in with the elf power grip primer this is the pink one i don't what is this it got something in it it has that in it okay she's really she's really to y'all to pump one on each side and I usually just tap it into my face because rubbing it is no point. Like, this shit is really tacky, but it's really good. I'm finna get into my foundation. I just feel like I look really light. <laughs> Going in with my foundation, I use the Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour Matte Wear in the shade Warm Sand. This is what it looks like, y'all. This right here is another tea okay i mix this foundation with my fit me matte poreless foundation in the shade 322 warm honey and i just add this to my brush and what i usually do y'all is i take my foundation all the way down to my neck i don't really necessarily go up underneath my eye i get a little bit on my forehead just a little bit. The rest I have left on my brush, I just put it on my elbows. Literally just like that. Ooh. It looked like my foundation don't match my skin, but I promise y'all it 
it's gonna look good it's gonna look good it's gonna look great i usually apply my concealer going in with my concealer i use the elf concealer in the shades tan sand and tan neutral i usually put tan sand on the outside and tan neutral on the inside corners just to brighten underneath my eye and this is how i place my concealer i do like a triangle kind of like i don't even know what you call it so i bring it up here and then i bring it down here I like to add some to my chin add some to my forehead and then i do a little line down to do my nose contour going in with tan neutral i put this underneath my eyes just to brighten and I try not to get it in my lab. I try not to look up and apply it because I don't want it to get fall in them creases. Like, I feel like if it falls into my creases, it's going to be hard for me to blend. And then it's always going to be cakey. Like, no. I don't place it where my creases are. I place it below my creases just so that I can just blend it up into that area without my concealer caking up. Okay, while my concealer is kind of like setting, I go in with my Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. I use this to contour my face because I don't have a contour stick. Don't judge me, y'all. This is just my makeup routine and this is how I do it. This is what worked for me, okay? I'm gonna just take this here small stipple brush and I'm gonna just go like this, get a little bit on my brush. I'm not dipping it in, I'm just wiping it on the top, I promise y'all. I'm just wiping it. And then... I go in on one side just to like evenly place the contour or foundation, whatever. And then I take the rest. I do just like so. That's it. That's it for like contour, y'all. That's all I do. So I always go in with the e.l.f. liquid blush. This is in the shade, what is this? Um, Coral Crush. Y'all, I love this. I love this blush. Like... Elf definitely need to come out with a powder blush to set this because I like to set my uh, my blushes. I literally like to set my whole entire face. Today I'm going heavy on the blush. I usually do like three dots. I'm in love with blush, y'all. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the Pinky Promise. I usually don't do this at all, but like I said, I'm feeling the blush, y'all. I'm feeling the blush. I definitely want to try the sunset blush effect that people be on. When I do apply my blush, I always go in with the Halo. I always go in with the Halo Glow by e.l.f. This is just highlighter. This is what it look like. I put that right above my blush and below my concealer for highlight. I use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I need to go get this wet, so I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I just take my beauty blender and excuse my edges, y'all. They just gonna keep coming up. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my blush. But I just blend it out. And like, while I'm blending it out, I'm low key kind of like blending out my concealer just a tiny bit not necessarily a lot okay so that's my blush and my highlighter that's all i do don't mind the ac you just cut on my makeup be lasting all day so that my concealer don't be creasing and this is how i take the, the fit me pressed powder in the shade 230 i open it and i take a powder puff and before i even start blending out my concealer i always prep my powder puff by just putting pressed powder on here because in this stuff this is where i kind of move fast like i move fast to say i don't play around i get stamped okay like my concealer ain't gonna start creasing and setting this stuff by itself before I could even do anything like no I just lift it up just to use the mirror and when I'm blending out my concealer I'm gonna be looking up like this okay using my real technique setting brush this is what the brush looks like y'all this is like a real I've been using this brush for a long long long, long time can y'all see and I usually do my chin first and then my nose and then my eyes I don't set my chin and my nose though how I would set underneath my eyes and literally, I'm just patting. That's all I'm doing. I'm patting and moving around. And that's it. I'm finna go into my concealer. Blend out the outsides first. Bringing it all the way up. Blend all the way over here. Still blending out my concealer, y'all. Taking it all the way up past my right here. 
continuing to look up because I don't want my facility to crease. Now I'm gonna get into like the highlighted part. I feel like y'all really can't see exactly how good my makeup look right now. Like I look like I'm Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do my under eye. I always do one eye at a time. I don't bounce back and forth. And y'all, if y'all have not watched my lash clustering tutorial, y'all need to go watch because y'all, these lashes, it's been three days, three or four days since I did them. And y'all, they still on. And on top of that, look how good they look. Like they look like, look how good my freaking lashes look. Like, and then I always just go underneath halfway. And then I close it, prep my puff for the next eye, slip on my finger, open this, blend out my, the inside corner on this side of my eye, set it, and that will be, nope, that will not be it, don't listen to me. So that's that, I continue to look up, and while I'm looking up y'all, I get my loose powder. Get my loose powder. I use the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder. It's not all of that. It do get flashback, but what I usually do is just spray my face down real bad. Okay, so I just go in like this, get some on my powder puff. I take the top and I just distribute it all over my powder puff just so that it's not cakey. I guess. And I take my mirror. I look up again and I double set with the loose powder. And then the rest, I just take it on my nose and my chin, and that's it. That's all I would do. I know I look crazy. I look like freaking Michael Jackson right now. Like, after I do that, my makeup routine is pretty much done. All I have to do is go in with my powder. So, I'm going to go in with my contour, well, my bronzer. I use this here, True Complex Contour Palette, which have the contour, sculpting, and highlighter. But I usually mix them, and then I just take it over here just to dust off some of that powder. Do my little fish face, and I just contour my face. Kind of with the same technique of like adding some on one side, adding some on the other side, taking it on the forehead. Y'all, my edges is missed. And then I take the rest up underneath right here. And that's pretty much it. And I kind of like blend that. Um, what that should be called? Loose powder, I kind of like blend it off when I go up here on my forehead. Now, after I contour my face, I like to contour my nose using the same palette and like this little small brush. I'm just going with the middle color. And what I like to do when it comes to contouring my nose is I like to contour my nose starting from underneath my brow and working all the way down. Just like so. And then I flip the brush over just so I can get the other powder on the other side. And I just blend it. My nose is giving snatched, honey, period. I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is why I need e.l.f. to draw a blush palette or something, the individual blush, because I'm using a freaking eyeshadow palette from the beauty supply store. But this is just the NK Makeup Sunset something makeup palette. And I usually just use this color down here, but sometimes I use this color or sometimes I use this color. But I'm gonna add these two together. I'm going in with this one first with two taps, and then I'm going in at the bottom. Y'all, this is gonna be scary. Ooh, I'm scared. And then I just set that blush like so. And I just go back and forth because I don't wanna do too much. That's it. Add some to my nose. I'm gonna add some more over here though. Okay, that's period. I'm just feeling real. I do have like a little bit of loose powder left. I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna just. I'm gonna brush off this side. I'm gonna take a little bit over here just to like give my face a shape. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. Why you should do that after I set my face? Mmm, mommy, your makeup looks so good. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Okay, let me go ahead and just dust off some of them.
I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I always go in with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Spray. And I go in with the e.l.f. Matte Setting Spray. So I use these. I use both of them. Then I kind of get my beauty blender ready because I use the bottom half just to blend it out. I'm thinking about wearing these bows today. These are so cute. I think I'm gonna be wearing these. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I just use this hair fluffy kind of like brush with this hair palette that I got from Burlington, y'all. When I was probably like 12, I don't even know. But I'm just going with these two colors. I highlight my nose. And like little areas over here. That's it. And sometimes I do my cubits, but I focus like what is wrong with this thing? I'm finna do my brows. For my brows, all I do is take lash glue. This is literally lash glue, y'all. I use lash glue and a spoolie just to get that laminated brow look. Because edge control don't work. I really don't be in the makeup store, y'all. Which I need to go makeup shopping. It's like an updated makeup shopping. Add this to my brows and shake them. I'm gonna add a little more though because I really need these to be in place. Same brush. I just started doing this, but with the same nose contour brush, I add some brown. And I go over here in the corner and I add like a, I wouldn't techni technically say wing, but wink. So I usually just use my Voluminous Original Mascara. Y'all, two layers of this, and it's gonna look like you got bottom lash extensions on. I promise. I'm gonna go in with one more layer of mascara. So that's my bottom lash mascara. I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner to put on my waterline because I just love that bold, dark look that it just gives. One thing, my signature look is literally this look. Like, it just be so bold and so cute and just so baddie. Like, I just love it. I'm just going in. Now I'm gonna get into my lip combo. For my lip combo, I usually just line my lip with a matte liquid lipstick. Y'all, that is the key for your lip liner to last all day and all night. And line your lips with it instead of lining with pencil. Because I feel like the pencils just go away so fast with the matte. If anybody know, liquid matte lipstick stay on all day. And it's so hard to like rub off sometimes. Like, oh my god. And I always overline my lip. I usually go in with pure matte lipstick from the beauty supply store in the shade Bad Attitude just to fill in like this part of my lip. And then I always go in with Baby Doll or Like a Virgin. I lost my Like a Virgin lips lip gloss, y'all. And I'm hurt about it, okay? And I meant to buy some more, but it's okay. That's it. And my gloss. This is my Ruby Kiss Butter Bond gloss in the shade Baby Doll. This right here is T2, okay? Like, oh my god, if you, if you don't got Baby Doll by Ruby Kiss in your collection and you be buying the Beauty Supply Store, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, don't judge me, but I never owned a NYX Butter Gloss. I'm sorry, y'all, but... See, and if I had, like, a virgin just to add to the center, it would get that pop of pink. But I don't... I usually just wipe the inside. And look at that. <laughs> that is pretty much everything that I do for my makeup routine. This is literally what I do all the time, y'all. Like, I really be beating down my face. Like, I don't even mean it, but like, I'm a bad bitch, bro. Like, <laughs> what? What? Did I hear you twice? Did I hear you? Did I hear you correctly? So that is pretty much it. That's everything that I use in my routine. If I miss anything, hopefully I could mention what I missed in the comments or either in the description. All the links to these products will be in the description box down below. Hopefully I can find a link to some of the stuff. Some of the stuff, like I said, I had since I was 12. Don't judge me. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.